here today with the head football coach of Kilgore, Clint Fuller. How are you doing today, coach? I'm doing great. How about yourself? I'm I'm doing well. Um, of course, I refer to you as head football coach, but you're the athletic director there, there at Kilgore. So uh, this isn't exactly uh, relaxation time for an uh, athletic director. Very busy in the spring. Yes, sir. We got we got baseball going, we got track going, and um, starting with some skills in football. So it's a it's a busy time of the year, but it's an exciting time of the year. So uh, one of the things I'm trying to do with these interviews is kind of expose people to, to what the life of a coach is like. And, and one aspect of that is, um, you know, a lot of coaches, most coaches are kind of nomadic, if you will. Uh, you, you you don't get a job out of college and that's where you're going to retire. So if you don't mind, just kind of walk us through your, through your uh, high school coaching history. Yes, sir. Um, well, er early in my career, I, I um, started coaching with um, uh, Coach Brian Polk at uh, Van Alstine High School and was there for a year, coach uh, defensive backs, and he got a job at, at a new school uh, called Byron Nelson um, and uh, took me with him and um, was there um, for about eight years. Um, kind of, kind of grew up on a on a staff, was able to become a defensive coordinator and um, get that program started and, and build build really a program from scratch, build a culture, um, which was a really good experience. Um, and then Coach Polk went on to the UIL, and I went over to South Lake for a year, coach defensive backs, and then went to Grapevine as a defensive coordinator, and then. Went out to Texarkana uh, with Coach Gibson, Coach Josh Gibson at Pleasant Grove High School as a defensive coordinator, and we we had a really good good run there, and um, really really enjoyed um, coaching uh, in Texarkana and coaching with Josh. We've known each other for a long time, and then um, you know I, I wasn't going to leave Pleasant Grove for just any opportunity. Um, it's a really good place, but Kilgore um, opened up, and it, it's a place where I grew up. My dad coached at Kilgore Junior College for a long time. Uh, I have a lot of family from the area, and it's a place that I always went back to to see, to see family and relatives, and it's a, it's an area that's always been special in my heart. And so when it opened up, and, um, you know, I, I decided to, 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 to go after it and um, was fortunate enough to get the opportunity to be that, the head coach here. And um, it, it's, I've been here for about a year now, and it's been – it's been a, a great year. Um, we got a great staff, um, got great kids, got a great community that loves football and supports us. Um, and so it's a, it's a really special place uh, in my heart. Now, you, you mentioned a couple of the coaches that you coached under. And I think that's an aspect of, of, of being a coach that may be somewhat overlooked by the general public is when you're the head coach or athletic director, you're as much coaching the coaches as you're coaching the player. Yes, sir. Um, it's, it's, it's all about relationships, um, you know, and I was fortunate to work for, for some really good head coaches, Coach Paul, Coach Lawson, Coach Gibson, um, and, and, and learned a lot from them. Um, and, and, I mean, really just lucky to be around good people, good head coaches, good assistant coaches. And, and, and now that I'm, you know, the head coach here at Kilgore, really fortunate to, to have some really good cult, um, coaches and it's a group effort we we learn from each other um you know as a head coach it's my job to, to lead the program and and, and kind of create the vision of, of where we want to go um but it's a team effort with our coaches our, our coaches have a ton of input on, on what we do day-to-day -day basis and and what our what our goals and what our long long-term vision is and so it's very much a group uh, effort and uh, it's very much about the relationships that you form because as coaches you spend a ton of ton of time together um, and and so it's really important that you do have genuine friendships and and that you love each other and care care about each other and uh, families and um, and and take time to to spend outside of just the office with each other to really build some real relationships. Now, would you? Uh come into a program like Kilgore that has such a uh, at least recent tradition of success, uh, you're still going to come in and you're going to make changes, not 
necessarily because you think it's wrong, but because these are the things you've seen work and that you're comfortable with. Sure. Um, you know, coming into Kilgore, um, Coach Wood um, had had a lot of success here. Kilgore's had a long tradition uh, of playing great football. Um, and so coming in, you know, it's, it's, you got to be smart about how you, how you transition things. Of course, um, you know, I'm, I have my personality and I have, um, you know, I can't be Coach Wood, um, and um, I got to be myself. And but also, you got to understand that there are traditions and and those ways of doing things um, that Kilgore has done for a long time that's led to a lot of success. And so it, it's a balancing act of, of trying to figure out, all right, this is this is how we want to do things. Um, this is where we might want to change some things. This is where we're going to keep things that have been in place uh, in in play uh, and continue all of those things. But again. It goes back, you know, Coach Wood has been has been great since transitioning here. He's helped me um, every step of the way. If I ever had a question about anything, he, he's the first guy I'd, I'd, I'd call or, or go to the office, go to his office and talk. And then our coaches, our assistant coaches, um, a lot of them have been here for a long time. A lot of them have played here. Um, and so um, they're, they're really good resources to, to bounce ideas off of and, and try to figure out how we want to move forward. All right. Now let's talk a little football. Uh, sure. You know, once again, playoff team last year. What do you have coming back? What are you looking uh, looking? Look, what does it look like for uh, for the fall? Well, we're 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 excited about um, you know next football season. We we did lose some really good players. We lost the district MVP, um, uh, and uh, we lost some. Some, some good pieces that are that are moving on um, to go play college football and um, but we feel like we have some some young pieces um, that are that are ready that are right that are um, have the talent um, to, to replace those pieces and then we also do have some experience coming back um, our quarterback was first team all district player last year um, as a junior um, he's kind of really taken over the leadership role um, within our program and has had a great spring um, our 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 running back last year was a district MVP. Our backup running back was first team all district, and um, and we feel really good um, about our, our our running game situation with our with our running back returning. And then our offensive line is going to be young, but they're they're very talented. Um, and so there's just no there's no there's no counter to experience. And so we're going to be inexperienced in some areas. Um, which early in the season will be will be big for us to gain that experience. Uh, and then defensively, we feel really good about our secondary. They were young last year, and, and we have the majority of them coming back. Um, and we're going to be – feel like we're going to be pretty good up front on the defensive line. So we have the pieces that, um, in place that we feel um, that we are pretty confident in, uh, but you just don't know. And, and out here in East Texas, you know, every week is, is, is tough, and everyone has – talent and there's great coaches and so um but iron sharpens iron and so we're really excited to get going next season all right now uh, some young players in there but you, you, you use the season to, to 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 sharpen the players to, to to make the judgments to improve the players and really by the time you get if you have a sophomore playing by the time you get to the playoffs, he, he's not a sophomore in terms of football anymore. He's got that season under his belt already. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. We, we played – I think we had a nine sophomores on, on varsity last year, um, and, and most of them played a, a significant amount of playing time or had played a significant amount. Um, and, and by the end of the year, you know, they were, they were pretty seasoned. Um, and so um, they're going to be our juniors um, coming back and – we feel um, like they're they're a little bit ahead of the game um, because we did we were kind of young at some spots, um, but then in, in some key spots we do have some experience. So I feel like we have a good mix of young guys um, with talent that may be not as experienced, but then we have some older guys that are talented and, and have played a lot of football. Okay, now uh, the the real tough question: you're you're familiar with the Kilgore area, having grown up there. What's uh, Coach Fuller's go-to restaurant? <laughs> the Country Tavern. <laughs> it's uh, can't beat the ribs at the Country Tavern. 
Uh, it's, a, it's a great place. So that's uh, Coach Fuller's go-to order is yep. uh, the ribs. The ribs, for sure. But all their barbecue is really good. All right, Coach. Well, thanks for your time this morning. And uh, definitely uh, best of luck with the uh, upcoming football season. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.